I had to put a hat on. My hair was a mess. I literally just woke up not too long ago. I was getting ready to, um, and it's pretty soon I was going to get ready to record all the Mortal Kombat trailers, MK1 trailers into one video and look at them all again because, in my opinion, they did very well with their trailers that I wanted to do it right before the game comes out. I wanted to react to all of them at once. But there's a combat cast. I had no idea. Maybe they said it on Twitter, but I don't really go on Twitter that much. Every now and then I do, and I might catch something, but not really. So maybe they announced it. I just, I just didn't know. So, yeah. I was like, well, put a hat on. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, I, I do have the, uh, what you call it? Um... The Mortal Kombat Collector's Edition is uh, deliver, going to be delivered here where I live. Oh, here we go. So I'll do a video showcasing, you know, um, me unboxing it as well. I'll do that whenever it comes. It's not in yet, but whenever it does come in. All right. Let's see. I don't even know what they're going to talk. What's the title? The title said it is time. Okay. I guess it's just like a release party or something. We'll see. You know, they could show Shang Tsung gameplay. That would be nice. All right. Welcome, everyone, to the combat cast. There we go. All right. So, so Derek's back, um, if you couldn't tell. Yeah. Um, so, welcome to the combat cast right before right before launch, uh, where some people will get to start playing the game with the early access. It's happening. It's happening. So, very excited. Um, we got a couple things to show you today. We're going to talk about invasions. Yes, sir. We're going to talk oh, about nice. characters. Shang Tsung, Reiko. Very Ooh. excited. Oh, Reiko. nice. There we go. Okay. It's, Reiko. it's pronounced Reiko. Is it Reiko? Yes, it is. Oh, I'm going to get that. I'm glad they're showing Reiko because um, in the trailer, he looks cool, but he look, his gameplay seemed pretty stiff. And I did say in that reaction, it was only a little bit they shown. So we'll be able to, uh, hopefully soon, we'll be able to see what else he has to offer. Because that little bit in the trailer, he looked kind of stiff. Wrong okay, Reiko. Um, so before we do any of that, we're going to get to a trailer. Oh, they want to show the trailer again? Okay. But yeah, Reiko, he looks amazing, character mile and all. And I'm excited to see what else he has to offer. But just that little bit, he seemed kind of stiff and it wasn't too impressive. I did like that slide grab he did to the floor. That was nice. But it's nice. They're going to show him and Shang Tsung, which Shang Tsung looks amazing. I stand by what I say with MK11's, the original 1995 Shang Tsung is the best, but it doesn't mean someone else can, can't can do amazing as well. And I'm pretty sure the the person playing Shang Tsung, his story and all that is going to be amazing in MK1. They can be great in their own ways. Here we go. I was so glad they showed more of Melina. Because I was like, man, that little bit they showed her is not enough. I want more. And there, that was really, that what a combo that was. Oh, and there's something I noticed about this trailer. I'll pause it when I get there. Yeah, it's Reiko. But there was something. I watched the trailer again off camera just to see if I missed something. And it was at the end. I'll show you in a minute. But that right there, that slide grab, that was nice. It was during Kung Lao's fatality. I know I saw I'm focusing on the Lin Kuei, which I am when it comes to mastering, but don't get me wrong, I am going to be learning other characters. Natara looks very good. I want to try her. Shang Tsung, obviously. You know, I'm always going to have love for Johnny Cage since he's going to be, he was my main for the last three Mortal Kombat's before here. So don't get like I'm gonna use other characters. Don't 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 get that twisted. I just want to be really good with the Lin Kuei. Like you know how people play a uh, combat league and they're using a character and they lose and they, you know, you get a chance to change a character and they want they usually use their main. That's how I'm gonna do it. The Lin Kuei is gonna be my main if I ever need to get this win, but I will be using other characters. Especially like Raiden looks good. Actually, I don't know. I don't think there's one character that doesn't look good. Everyone looks there great. Spoils in this war. Let us win it first, brother. I will aid you. This is interesting to see Reptile Baraka being with the good guys now. If you fight tomorrow, I like it. Of your could Especially Reptile. Katana will take your place. There are already whispers she should replace me as your heir. 
your race can shapeshift. I like they're getting more storyline between uh Melina and um Katana. I really hope she's not the main villain at the end. Like we already got that last game of MK11. I'm cool with Shang Tsung being it because in my opinion, he's one of the greatest villains of all time in any kind of like movies, video game, whatever. With the Joker, Dark Side, Shang, Shang Tsung's in that list too. In my opinion. I'm glad they're showing gameplay up. I look forward to seeing what he got. Alright, I think this was it. Yeah, here we go. So I'll pause it right while I start. Right here. You notice anything? There's no cameo behind him. So maybe we're getting what we wanted because yes, I and I have nothing against the cameos in this game. But I did say in the for a while ago when cameos was first announced that I would love if they had this own mode, online mode, where you don't want cameos, you just want one v one battle. And here I, I noticed I'm like, wait, there's nobody behind them. Maybe they, they are going to have it. They just haven't announced it yet. And a lot of people were saying that too. A lot of people was like, you know, I like that 1v1. I don't want to think about no cameos, nothing like that. And maybe Nether Realm is catering to both parties who like, you know, who loves the cameos and ones who don't. So uh, something when I was watching it, I was like, that's not by accident. That is not by accident. And I'm pretty sure other trailers shown just the one-on-one -on -one moments for like a second. I just didn't catch it. I caught it this time. This was one of the best fatalities in the game. Not the best. I still like Johnny Cage's uh, with the car. Vroom, vroom. I love that one. But this one was top tier too, as well. But yeah, I just noticed that. I'm like, there's no cameo behind Kung Lao. Maybe they're going to have a mode. Which I love. I ain't going to front. I love the cameos, but I would play more of the one-on-one -on -one than... The other one. I'm going to play both, but um, if I had to choose one. To talk about Derek, mm -hmm. a, a mode that you worked a lot on. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, want to talk a little bit? Some people have seen a little, little bits and pieces of it. We sure, sure. want to go more into depth. We have some questions we've we found off the internet and whatnot about uh -huh. invasions. Yes. Oh, so here we go. I want to know more about this too. Uh, Shout out to Maximilian. He did make a video I reacted to, talk a little bit about it for Mortal Kombat One. Uh, what we've done is we've kind of taken what we did with the Towers of Time and the Crypt in previous games, and we combined them into Invasions. And Invasions is an RPG-like experience going through the different realms, or mesas as we like to call them. It looks like Mario Party, to be real. To defeat the invading force. All right. Each, each season is about an invading force coming into Liu Kang's timeline. In season one is about Hanzo Hasashi, and he has come... Be oh, oh it's different gonna seasons. Well, we're going to show a video afterwards. Will. About nice. That. And so every, uh, every season, you'll have new Mesa, you'll have new content, and a new story, and a new... That's invasion. cool to have a season. Awesome, and we're getting some of that, too, as well. Yes. And we yes. do have, we have some... Do you want to start with some videos now? Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's right. do it. So yeah, but how it looks place. with the camera yes. on top, with the different yeah, so places. This is, this is oh, wow, look places. at that. This is where it all happens. You see, you got Scorpion looming over Eight that different places. Nice. That one would be the final Mesa. Mm -hmm. um, and as you progress, uh, you will unlock each one of these Mesas. We don't want people to get into content that might be too hard for them. So we've also added a level of progression to this system. Uh, you'll start off in the. Dude, look at that. Hold up. Look at that Scorpion skin, bro. Scorpion. And then that center mesa that we have highlighted there. Have I, I think I've seen that before. So Regardless, I've seen it. I'll see it again. That looks really good. The, uh, I just noticed it at the last second. You want to play fights and you still want to, you know, do one thing or another. You can through the gateway mesa, which has constant rotating content similar to what we had in Towers of Time, where there's new daily, new hourly, new weekly, and a seasonal tower, which you should be like max level before you even start that. And there's warnings. I was playing that the other day, and a uh, very high-level Gearus yeah. bodied me. Yes. Yeah. Well, was it me? About it. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> we named it Lanny. Yeah, wow, yeah. that's super cool. Yeah. So, so just what we're talking about here with the mm -hmm. mesas, there is always something to do. Always. And when you finish doing that stuff, you can go do more stuff. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, there's, there's always something to do 
in invasions. Mm -hmm. And like I <clears throat> kind of touched That's on cool. earlier. That's cool. I like how Netherrealm's considering those who don't want to play online a lot. Stats, so they're going to give them a lot to do like offline. Fighters I mean, I'm going to do it all. I'm playing online, obviously. But I'm playing the story, all of Invasion Mode. I want to get everything that Invasion Mode is going to give you. All the skins and all that. The gear. You'll hear, like, all the hot takes. Like, one person's like, oh, I dump all my stats into attack. I'm yellow. That's what I do. That's absolutely what I do. I know, I know, I know. People have a more balanced approach. There's also, you can have your stats be automatic, which is what I do. Right. And it just kind of balances. Out. And what people start to do is they start forming like teams, right? Depending upon what kind of challenges they're coming up to. So it really encourages you to change your characters or change your cameos frequently as well. Um, and it helps so, to learn characters too. And it helps to yes. learn characters, yeah. And so choosing one character could give you an advantage in a fight. You're it's not creative. I like it. Required to do that. But once you engage more with the systems, you'll be like, ooh, I know if I pick Raiden against Sub-Zero, I'm going to win because Sub-Zero is weak to electricity. Yeah, the, the, the min-maxers out there are going to find exactly what needs to be done, switching out every time, doing all this exactly, stuff. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And then, like I said, each season, we'll wipe all that content and we'll make brand new content with a brand new invading force. Dig it. Uh, speaking of these, the places you play, the, yeah. the, almost the playboard, the mazes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We, you want to take a look at one of those? Um, so they're huge and they are beautiful. And so I think one uh, we haven't shown yet is the Tarkatan Colony. And so, yeah, let's oh, do wow. it. Yeah, it has like a Mario Party feel to it. With the, It's like a board game, moving them up forward. And, and oh, what happened? To the the Tarkatan Colony. Oh, okay. <laughs> And it's, it's very neat because normally in a fighting game you're seeing these environments. But I love the creativity like, of having different worlds. Mm -hmm. And with this, you can just see like. But that scorpion skin look nice. Levels. Huge. These are all nodes and chests you can find. Oh, there's secrets everywhere. And speaking of secrets, every node has a secret fight. <laughs> Which you have to figure out. Right? Yes, yes. So yes. there is a lot of content to be had. I was, like, I was literally about to say, it's going to be a lot of content I mean, like, offline yeah. alone. I mean, they're going to have their online mode. I mean, come on now. It's their bread and butter. But offline, they got a lot going on. A whole, the whole 30 years of Mortal Kombat's run. There are characters who might not be in the game, but they'll get a little shout out mm -hmm. in invasion modes. That some of the new Hopefully, it's some kind of Night Wolf shout out. I cannot believe he's... Example, I'm not uh, ashamed in Netherrealm at all. But I just can't believe Night Wolf is not in this game. For those who don't know, he's my favorite... Yeah, it's it's character uh, when it comes to sto the stories of Mortal Kombat, I've always been into Nightwolf. Now online, I've usually played uh, Johnny Cage. I'm the, even though I'm changing it now, but character when it comes to the story and all that stuff, the model, the character model, everything has always been Nightwolf. And with the reset, I was like, with the reset, they gotta have my boy Nightwolf in here. No. So hopefully they mention something of him in here, or he's a DLC later. Even though he was DLC in MK11, but I'll take it again. I'll take it again. A lot of RPGs have ways to build and craft. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, and we have that too. <laughs> so we have a forging system and a crafting system um, where you have these items which we call talisman. And as you're going through your journey of invasions, you're collecting. A friend of mine was talking about Boraicho. He was like, "Man, Boraicho's not in here." Which is a, a Shokan warrior named Bob. He's, he's everywhere. We're going to show that now? Oh, yep. we're showing it. We're yep. showing it. Go, there we go. There, there's Bob. And so um, there's a, the Shokan warrior, and he can be found in each one of the mazes. And there's <laughs> like Bob's a Goro player with the Shao Kahn hammer. Collect, and you combine them with talisman to make them stronger. Or you can even change the element types with them. So if something starts off as fire, and you're like, actually, I need to, I need to turn this into ice. You can do that stuff. Wow. And there's some very wacky talisman also. And so I'm not going to really spoil too much of it, but um, I'm excited. to. I like the details. Not just go here, fight this one. You get this. Go here, fight. You know, that would be kind of boring, very repetitive. There's some that... They give you great scenery. I mean, things to do, crafting, all that stuff. And probably stuff they haven't mentioned yet that they wait until you get the game for. Um, if it's broken and fun, yeah, we, we most likely did that right. intentionally. And then we, we ha we're, we're actually creating a better a better skull here, mm -hmm. which I would like to say we should maybe show some of how that. You want to show that now? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah let's so do it. We're, we're successfully going through the forge, right? So right. Again, like even the sequence just looks awesome, right? Like forging sequence, 
mad props to the UI team for getting that going. And there's Bob's back to work. Thank you, Bob. So we have these little tiny ones. Uh, so you can forge it so that. Wow. Look how slow it does, too. And slow it gets to him, which is nice. If you set up a trap. That is moving slow. And staggers. And staggers, right? <laughs> but you can also make them really big. Oh, wow. <laughs> and, and that's just skulls. And that's just skulls. There's different kind of fireballs, meteors. Armor. I, I, armor. There's one I just really can't wait for people to see. I think I know the one you're talking about. But we'll, we'll we're gonna hold. What it game was it where they was using stones to help you fight in battle? Sense, but pretty much a lot of the Marvel's Capcom Infinite. I mean, it was used a little differently, but that's what it reminded me of. Into a talisman, and so it gives you this additional um, power outlet that you can use during fights, and you can actually even two and one into talismans as well. So it's, it's a lot of fun. It's an additional level of power to help you advance through this adventure that we call Invasions. Awesome. And say it like that every time. Invasions. Awesome. Uh, so um, we do have some questions oh. uh, from that we've kind of scoured to find. So I'm just going to give you some rapid fire. Hit ones. me. Let's do give it. Give me as much information as you can or will. Okay. You got it. You got it. Does my level reset each season? Yes. Your Invasions level will reset each season. You will start... Back at level one. The cap for a season is level 30. Cool. 30. Um, uh, are invasions how I unlock cameos, skins, and gear and stuff? Yes, but not exclusively how you unlock them. Um, just playing the game. I was about to say, I'm pretty sure it's going to be other ways. You're not required to just go and do invasions to unlock it. You can unlock but it's going to be certain skins. Online. I'm pretty sure you have to get you an invasion. You want to make sure that players were being rewarded for playing the modes they want to be playing and also playing as the characters they want to be playing. We have two reward structures. Okay, we have more than that, but two passive ones. We have what's called profile mastery, which is your level profile going up no matter what you do, and you're unlocking items through that. And then you also have character mastery, where you're playing as Sub-Zero, you want stuff for Sub-Zero, you're getting stuff for Sub-Zero for playing Sub-Zero. Sub I'm getting it. That's yeah. what I like to hear. Yeah, yeah. And so um, each character has a mastery reward um, Mastery reward system, and so do cameos. So whatever cameos you want to play as, guess what? You're getting rewards for them as you're just playing with them. Got it. So, online warriors, you can get your stuff. Yep. Yes. You love doing the offline stuff. You get your stuff. Yep. So you do them both. You get your stuff. Yep. Yes. Awesome. Um, just play the game. That's all you need to do. Mm -hmm. uh, what happens when a season ends? Oh. When you vanquish. <sighs> I know. Or not. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. It. So um, what happens is we lock the content or we make it kind of go away for a week. Um, we want to have a down period between seasons so people can be like, whew, I can relax for Breathe a bit. A bit. So I, can, I, can, I can relax. And then it's going to take that much work. I'm interested to see how hard it's going to be um, if you have to sit back to be like, whew, again, that was a lot. Content, things like that. So if you still want something to play during the downtime, that's there. Which but is nice to have though. It's a nice grind. Because, yes, you always want to, uh, well, I can only speak for myself. I always want to get better playing online against my opponents. But every now and then, I want to try something else. You don't want to get it to be so repetitive, it gets boring. Cool. So, um, I mean, we kind of already touched on this. Do you have to so I'm glad they have different things to do. You, you can switch characters at any point. Um, you have one global invasion level, and all your characters are leveling at the same time. So you might reach, like, a level 15 content. Guess what? All your characters are that level, so it's not like, oh, I have to level this character up to even beat this. Nope. That Super is not. helpful. Yes. Super you helpful. can switch at any point. Yeah, say? like um, what I did when I was playing this weekend is I had Katana as my roster character, and I would switch my cameos constantly. Mm -hmm. And you can also have different loadouts, so like, if I wanted to switch to Sindel, she can have a different talisman. Yep. And that kind of stuff. So awesome. Netherrealm is playing it very smart. They're catering obviously to the core players of Mortal Kombat, but also the casuals. Uh, is an online feature. Always online. Yes, Wait. it is an online gotta be, feature. Gotta be connected. Um, because you're getting rewards, right? And so we oh, it's an online sure feature. But yeah, they're catering. I used to mean the core players. They catering to the uh, ones who are the tryhards online, the ones who are just regulars, the casual players. Uh, yeah. People who don't want to play online, like I messed up, with, like I went for a walk outside. Someone is, loves Mortal Kombat, but he hates playing online. And he always said the game would get boring after a while because there ain't much offline to do. Now he has the time to do it. And then 
we'll, we'll shuffle him around. He has, um, he has time to do it. You know what I'm trying to say. He has other things uh, he can do that's going to take a lot of time, to according to what they're saying, which is good. That's how you, no, it's you know, please everybody the best um, you can, because at the end of the day, you can't please. Think that there's something to pay you can't do everything no, perfect, but yeah, they're doing the best they can. I give them credit for it. Pay for invasions. Um, oh, wait, pay for what? Is there a match for each stage in Invasions? Is there a match for each? Map. Oh, a map. A, a mesa. Uh, so we are only showing six mesas for, um, or well, technically eight, uh, for season one. And again, we'll each season we'll try to bring in a new mesa or a new map. Oh, I thought you said pay. I was like, uh-oh, what will we pay it for? around, change things up so it's a new content. Sure. Uh, do I have to pay for Invasions each season? No. It's seasonal content. Um, I know so I like to hear. hear the word seasonal. They think that there's something to pay for. No, of course. It's free content. Um, you, you don't pay for invasions. Um, That's how it should be. If you already paid $60, $70 for the game, the stuff should be free. Now, if it was a free-to-play game, it's okay. Put a charge to it. No battle pass. Yes. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No battle pass. Wait. Is there a battle pass? You kind of already talked. No, we do not have a battle pass. There's no other ways of. We have passive reward structures. No battle pass. Is I there like to hear. There is no MTX in invasions, so you cannot pay your way through it. You cannot pay to get. Oh, okay. I was like, "What's MTX, man? I didn't know what that um, meant." No. Exclusive seasonal items. Yes, there are exclusive seasonal items. Like people have been asking, or I've seen on the twitters, if I ha if if getting that scorpion skin is how, or is if invasions is how I get that scorpion skin, I'm gonna play it, and it is. And there's a lot of other cool ones in there too. That's that's good. Um, Thank you, Nether Realm. Thank you for caring about the fan base. You're gonna have to wait till that season comes back. You know when? Oh wait, hold on. What? One thing I you know I can't stand is when you charge seventy dollars for a game and still putting price tags on molds for people to play or battle passes and stuff. I'm gonna play it, and it is. And there's a lot of other cool ones in there too. Um, if I miss something during a season, can I still get it? You're gonna have to wait till that season comes mm. back. Got it. Now, if it was the games were free to play, like how Fortnite's free to play, I don't mind when they put price tags on stuff. But when you charge seventy dollars already, come on. Classic towers where you unlock your arcade ladder ending and all that are still in the game too. We have that too. Right. Which I will do every single one. Oh, classic tower. Oh yeah. Awesome. Um, anything else you'd like to add? I mean, can't have Mortal Kombat without the classic towers. I think we think we covered a lot. Um, no, I think I'm. Good. Let's let's maybe show the season opener. Let's do those. Show the okay. season, season opener. opener. Season one. Oh. The scorpion invading our timeline also lost his wife and son to Quang Chi's murderous machinations. Consumed by grief, he searched them all to find another Harumi with whom. Yo, look at that. So, look at that skin, bro. But in timeline after timeline. He arrived too late. Harumi was already dead. Dang. All oh, Quan Chi. He was crushed to find that though alive, Harumi was wedded to Kwai Liang. Thwarted yet again, Scorpion's frustration exploded into rage. He has vowed to burn this entire timeline. If he cannot have Harumi, no one will. Wow, that is it. That wow. Okay, spooky, huh? Man, they hit the hearts there for Scorpion, man. <laughs> man can't find, uh, can't keep the love of his life by any means necessary. No matter how many times you change the timelines, either death or she's with somebody else. <laughs> Poor Hanzo Asagi, man. Um, and there are no jumping spiders. There's no jumping spiders, so good to know. Yes. And if you manage to reach the boss and defeat them, you get a cinematic ending to go with it, which is really. Oh, cool. nice. I'd like to give you a conclusion. Super yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, Where poor Hanzo, today, bro. Reiko's coming. Reiko. Ra Did I say it right? You that said it wrong. Reiko. Still Reiko. Um, so Reiko, Re Reiko, <laughs> you've got it to me. Got him. Reiko. Uh, people on Twitter have been asking, like, hey, we have any grapplers? And if we do, if we want to have one, here one is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he does have some stuff you can do from distance, but really getting in front of Reiko, being right in his face is probably not the best bet for you. Yeah, yeah he's, he's I'm gonna say he seems there. like that. There's, there's no nuance here. Rako seems like a grappler. He's just a street fighter. Just in your face, beat the crap out. Put him in the grinder. Grinder. Grinder, don't stop. Grinder, don't stop. All right, so what I like to start out with here. Here we go. Back to. We're gonna do some normals real quickly. Sure. Gotta do it to Johnny Cage though. 
Boom. It's pretty fast. Highly advantageous. So you throw that out there, you might throw it out again, you might go for a command grab. Lots of stuff you can do off of that. Mm -hmm. um, not a combo move, just a very fast pressure move. Uh, what I love to use for two, which is an overhead. Also pretty quick. Uh, are you going to get that confused with this? Maybe, right, you know, maybe. I sure do. I'm a detailed um, person, and I was I pay attention right to like even right sound. Right I love right the sound right of the the, the hit exactly. when you hit someone. Here's the, cool the sound thing effect with it. About his, uh, some of his other normals. I said he had some distance stuff. So like usually you're thinking like here. Yeah. He can actually start what? from here with this electric. This oh like wow. Energy. That was a low. Stuff. You can like you can start that's, things from that's here. A, that's really. Good. That's a nice range so right there. Actually covers a little more distance than you might actually think he does. Um, so this thing right here, bam, good for long range. And notice how that would complement the overhead low. Yes, exactly. And then you also have like something like this. His okay. moves so do seem faster than what the trailer was showing. So the trailer was like my go-to. Like he was hitting like this. Here he's start like he's giving a fast. Is this right here? Faster, faster reactions okay. than the trailer. Things like that. So that's just a forward one, two, quick punches, kind of a good, a good punisher, good way to it start It seems combat. like he's almost always in the right range. He does feel yeah. like he <laughs> like, is, doesn't he? He's got a lot of tools that it just seems like he's always in the right range. Uh, go, ahead and, uh, go ahead and jump. Bam. So oh, wow. Look at that three, anti air. Standing three. Pretty good air. Uh, that's what they love about this one compared to MK11. There's going to be a lot more uh, ways to anti air your opponent for those who love to jump all the time. Because MK11, that was so annoying. You just see people doing jump three, jump three, especially if you had Shang Tsung or certain characters. Here, it's a lot more ways to counter that. Okay. So you actually got to learn some combos. Sweet. Sweet grabbing, you can do it, you know, there. And you can actually pick the side you want to go to as well. Oh, cool. Nice. For two bars, two bars. It does a lot more damage. It does about 210. Uh -huh. Costs two bars. Um, Still, though, 210? the side you want to go on to as well. Mm hmm. Like okay, Zangief. Sort of. So back in the corner, get Not really body type wise, but and you, you know what I mean. 210, that's very good. Afterwards? Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. So, boom, you Bam. Yeah, right back in there. Yeah, that's um, awesome. Super awesome. The only thing I wish he had was once you do that tackle, he, uh, your opponent bounces up. Oh, he does have something to throw. Okay. Your opponent bounces up, and you could do a combo with it. No, it's just a straight tackle down. I love that. Which is awesome. Okay, so he's not, uh, he does have something, uh, some objects to throw. So you can't zone with him. Uh, is this, he has this slide tackle. And this comes into some, some How the beginning sound is, it seems like you had to be close at all times. But no, he has some things you can oh, back up for. So it can, I mean, I, I love it as an armor move. Like, right. you don't combo after it. But right. like, the amount of times that hits when someone pushes a button. And then, you know, guess what? And he's also advancing forward quite a bit. Yes. So and that's then very good He's armor still move. in range. Get right back in there. Um, also have a, a low slot. Oh, jeez. So he can, you, okay. Oh, I was gonna say. So I mean, he can close in the distance. Yes. Very multiple different. ways. Yes. Either with an armored. I wonder how far that goes. You can also turn it into a knee. What? And do what you can combo after as well. <laughs> you can also meter burn. Yeah, he actually pardon into like. I'm okay, so there's some that ways that. to stay combos yeah. with him. Um, still kind of working on this one. Um, but you can do the slide into other combos. So he has a lot of sort of like rangey stuff he can do. Who's using Reiko? Let me know in the comments below. He looked really good. A lot better. That's, and I said it, that last reaction when I saw him. I said, we only see a little bit of him. And I'm, I'm hoping that there's a lot more than what we saw. And it is. I love his range. He's actually, you want to be as close. And then punching you in the face. He loves punching you in the face. <laughs> if I had to find one thing I would fix is when you grab and hit them on the floor, if you amplify it, they can bounce in the air. You can extend the combo with it. But, I mean, it's not bad that you can't do it. What are you going to do, bud? But, you know, when you play a fighting game, you're always thinking about something to combo with. Dang. They had the slow motion that punch. How hard. That's how hard he hit you. It reminded me of uh, Shao Kahn or General Shao now. So it's a defensive cameo maneuver. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Oh, oh you, you hit me out of it. Boom. I'm back. Yeah, back. they showed that in the trailer. Shuriken, mm. Kind of, you know, readjust, figure out what I'm doing wrong, that sort of thing. Um, also has this cool overhead, which you can do, you know. In my opinion, I think, oh, that's good. You can put it into combos. 
When it comes to the Lin Kuei cameos, I think Sub Zero has the best. He gives you a shield that stops projectiles, that you uh, protects you from projectiles. He freezes your opponent like Frost do. And there's one more I'm missing, I think. But for him to be able to give you that protection from projectiles and it can freeze your opponent as well. So let's show the parry real quick. The first oh wow! One is just a knockdown. Now, if you if you ex it, I messed up. Sorry. You can then. Oh, oh combo with it. Oh, nice. 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 Be careful waking up against him. I wonder, does he have a parry for lows or is it just uh, so mi uh, you mids? Turn your your, meter, your ex uh, parry into a. Because that looks like a mid. Very cool. Super cool. Um, back to Scorpion. Okay. He also has this move where he can. I already did that one, sorry. Throw fire at them, right? Spitting hot fire. You yep. can start doing combos off Thank of that, you. right? Mm -hmm. It can go different ranges as well. So I can do something, let me think like this. Let me try it again, sorry. Oh, oh, what? Whoa. Nice. Oh, wow. I didn't know you could switch the size. So I put him to the other 285, side. that's not bad, but yeah. I didn't know. I knew he could come out and do that uh, cameo move, but I didn't know he could go to the other side. Big time for safety. His... I think we should probably go to his Fatal Blow. Okay. Because his Fatal Blow is very interesting. If he does it regular, it's a grab. Mm -hmm. What do you do if someone's going to do a Fatal Blow to you that's a grab? Well, what's one thing you would do? You jump. You Everyone try, knows try that. that. Everyone knows that. Try jumping. Nope. So, oh. Hold up. During, it will do an air. That's awesome. That's so you basically got to back up. Right. If you hold it regular, you can't jump over him. I mean, if you're Rayco, you got to hold up to guess if they jumping, but still. There we are. Rayco. That was good. Yep. That was Much Rayco. better than a little bit the trailer showed. Like I said, they only showed a little bit, so That's here, better. I like this yeah, breakdown a whole lot better. I'm glad he has range. Super in your face. But now we're going to show what is the pre-order character, which we've been excited Yes, here we go. This is what I really want to see. I've been waiting for this since yes. Shang Tsung was first announced. I think this is a really, really cool take on Shang. Everybody Shang Tsung tonight. I like it. Yeah. I yeah. like it. Yeah, yeah. Who, uh, what kind of people want to play Shang Tsung? Well, Shang Tsung has always, for 30 years, been kind of a tricky character. Mm -hmm. he, um, the know, ground fireballs from like right, different kind of three. I hope his movesets are better than MK11's. I love the character of Shang Tsung in MK11. His fighting style was not, it, it wasn't my favorite. So I'm not going to say it was bad. It just wasn't my favorite. Hopefully here he has a lot of his better movesets. In Liu Kang's new era, he's still a sorcerer, mm -hmm. but he's also more of a scientist, like an alchemist or a scientist into like uh, poisons and potions and stuff like that. So Liu Kang turned him into an evil genius now? Yeah. Oops. He's, <laughs> he's, and Mistakes he's, happen. <laughs> you know, kind of the outworld courts, uh, almost like a Rasputin, like a weirdo advisor that's in the kind of the mystic arts, but also weird experimentation and stuff like that, which I think is a really fresh, cool take on the character. Yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah I yeah. agree. So let's check out let's, his gameplay. Let's jump in. I love his fatality, bro. Reminds me of Alien. Is the claws, which you can kind of expect. He uses in a lot of his normal attacks, like instead of a sweet kick, he uses his claws. They give him pretty good range. He has a bunch of slashing normals. He's got this back one that acts as a pop up. Yeah, I, I'm a big fan of the, the claw trail. It's pretty badass. Yeah, it looks Yes, good. the addition to the claws is very One nice. One of his key strings I'd like to show is his forward four, which is this triple kick. Really good range, mm -hmm. pretty quick mid. I think it's going to be... Really I'm interested to see how his, how his mix-ups are in this game, where yeah. you can go overhead and low. And let's check out his throw, which I'm a huge fan Like how many times, like what movesets do you have with that, where does. you can go low and high, uh, overhead? Because all I've seen was one low move. I love when we have those little throwbacks in there. You can also see he has this <laughs> quick overhead. Overhead, it's okay. Gonna pop up will lead to combos. It's pretty fast, and yeah. it's going to lead to a knockdown. Okay, that's the answer to my question. really interesting twist on Shang Tsung that I can't wait to talk about. So, you know, there's always a debate. Some people like him when he's an old man. Some people like him when he's young. Right. Why not both? Well. Any time during a fight, Shang Tsung can morph into an old version. Nice, cool. And this drastically changes his move list. Like how? Well, for example, when he's young, his 2-4, he 
is a knockdown. Mm -hmm. When he's old, two four becomes a low. Oh. Do you think it's because he can't stretch that much in there? <laughs> Another example, back one two, uh -huh. is a pop up. When he's old, it's a mid that knocks down. However, Interesting. His overhead becomes a low combo starter. Interesting. It's because he's just not as flexible. Old. And his forward four string is significantly wow. longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, okay, okay. That's cool. Another neat thing is you're not. This is not meant to be something that you have to set up, switching back and forth. Mm -hmm. It's not something that you know you need to cover your base. It's meant to be very quick, and it's something you should be going in and out constantly. Cool. So in addition, you can see. It's pretty yeah, cool. I was looking around to see is there a meter to changing, oh, and then he has to go back. But no, he can go anytime. A combo. I like that. I'm already liking him better than K11's move sets. Wow. You can also switch. That's just swaggy. Like this is cool. Finish combos. Here's an example. Oh. So I'm actually inputting it, hitting the morph, and then switching at the end of the combo automatically, and I can go straight into a combo. Wow. I look forward to seeing what the Sonic Foxes or Foxy Grandpa, those yeah. professional <laughs> players do with something like this. Oh, okay. So let's go into a special move. Sure. With the cameo. Right off the bat, you expect it. It'd be weird if he didn't have it. He has the flaming Absolutely. Skulls. You can do the double. I like the speed of it. Oh, you can send multiples and there's no meter. He also has an EX version. That wow. Wow. Kind of reference to his 3D fireball from Deadly Alliance. Yeah, so that's good. Right. You can send multiple without a uh, meter. Also do fireball in the air. That's one thing I love about this one. Mortal Kombat 1, you have ways to use meter, but it's not necess as necessary as it used to be in MK11. Which is a claw slap. Oh. You can still do a lot without using meter. This version has armor, so it's kind of this anti pressure tool. Super cool. Another new move, which again reminds you of MK3, is. Bed of nails. Awesome. Oh wow! Movies, flips backwards. It's like an escape tool. You want to get back that can stop game. like people waking up trying to do an attack on you. Think they're gonna jump. They're gonna I gotta remember that when I face change song. Don't get too close really sometimes. A way to land your jump. That's super cool. And then he also has the ability to morph into his opponent. Oh, so it's morphing time. I was wondering that trailer. I saw. I was like, D can he just change into someone without, you know, saying your soul is mine? And I thought in the trailer he did, like he would touch the opponent, but no, you could just change into him. His special move set completely changes. Wow. Instead of the straight fireballs, he has a ground fireball. Oh, it's like oh, nice. You can do a combo with that one. Ah, that is. Let me see a combo with it. Instead of the multiple kind of claw move, he has a single one that covers significantly more space. And I wonder, does that anti-air? Instead of the uh, bed of nails, he has this injector, where he actually implants you with an injection of poison that mutates you, and then knocks I'm, you. I'm really enjoying this. I love how Shang Tsung is in this game. Super cool. He'll inject you, morph into the opponent, their re-stand, and then he actually gets a damage buff for it. He's Scorpion, but he'll be doing even more damage. Wow. That's pretty nasty. Better, a better, per, a better exactly. Scorpion than Scorpion. Yeah. And he has an air fireball of his own. Yeah, I like saw that. Jumping version of the classic ground stall. Right. Awesome. Let's see a combo with it. Oh. <laughs> Doom screen so oh, Shang Tsung and Garrus. He's pretty awesome. Has a lot to <laughs> so them. Like a lot you could do with those characters. And there's another one I'm missing. But there's a lot to these characters that I can see take time to learn, but once you learn them, oh man. Because Garrus is very unique too. And I'm missing one more. Who am I missing that has that uniqueness like Garrus and Shang Tsung? Oh, what? So I was able to. I can't think of it right now. Let me know in the comments. Combo string, do a special move as old Shang, then do the restand with the morph. So two different morphs in one combo. Wow. Very, very cool. That's a lot. Yeah, he's, he's, that is a lot. That's what I'm saying. The uh, uniqueness of him and Garrus is very well, interesting. One really wonderful thing about him is, while there's a ton of depth, he's actually not super hard to play because the move set the inputs are the same between young and old. So the oh, okay. Well, that's good. Oh, that's that's good. But they'll always be. I was about to say the memory. You're going to have, to have a, a strong memory. The bed of nails moves down back three, and the injectors down back three. So. 
you know, the it depth. Translate and, yeah, it translates. Yeah, it translates very. It's very intuitive while also having a lot of depth to it. So there's a lot to think about, but you're thinking about what you want to do, not mm -hmm. how to do it, which so, I think is a really neat design decision. So I'd play him like young first round, second round old, and then my cannon would be the second round to play 60 years later. It's very interesting <laughs> to see who you. Would, that, what would you use as a cameo for Shang Tsung's move sets? For the moves you see. Who's the best? I would say Scorpion's cameo would be good for him. It's just down and left trigger. Oh, just down. There's a, well, there's so many cameos, there's so many things you can mix up with it. Challenging to play. I'm just thinking on top of my head. Is how you apply the tools. The tools themselves are not meant to be overly challenging. Gotcha. And the strings, when you're morphing, it's very lenient. I would still say Garrus seems like the the hardest character to learn because he has so much in his arsenal. And it has to work. It's the, t the timing has to be right. But Shang Tsung's up there. And when I say hard, I don't say it in a bad way. It just takes a little bit more time to learn than other characters. Instead, he duplicates moves depending on who the opponent is using. A good mix up with Shang Tsung and Shijinko. They're both. Exactly. Oh, you talking about Shijinko? Just like Deception. He's able to just watch people fight, learn, take out them, and then copy their moves. So his throw. This is a lot to take in right now. His throw actually changes every opponent. So he is using Scorpion's four four attack as his throw. Hmm. He also, if you look at his meter, it's actually different than everyone else. Yeah. So he starts out with no ability to use his cameo at all. You call him in, and he will start meditating. And you can see oh the wow! Filling up. Yep. Once it's filled, he now has access to moves. So, what moves does he I have? wonder, can he be? Uh, I uh, can call him out. Oh, that's sick. Rope spin. He Very gets cool. one charge of it. Can you stop recharge him from meditating? I wonder. Probably. Now I need to recharge him. So I can call him in using his Apep Punch. <laughs> and he'll begin to oh, meditate. nice. You can see he's building his meter back. Now as, now as a player, I'm like, I want to hit him to get him out of there. Don't right. wanna, I don't want him meditating. Anymore. And I can call him out if I think you're going to hit him. Okay. So now with two charges, I can do his second move, which is... You know it had to be this. Oh. Get over Get here. Over here. Nice. nice. So could you do a double hit over here? Yes, you could. Mind blown. And there's this the timeline's kind of crazy. Another way to charge him up. That is so cool, bro. Man, another round. Shout out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Shout out to y'all, bro. Like, this took a lot of creativity and time. Have come out, be next every time. character, every cameo has been shown with love. The, the molds in this game. And I'm pretty sure there's more to it that we didn't see yet. Then once the meter's built up, you can call them at any time. So sometimes I'll use cameo as a barrier. I want to hear some. What's some online modes that is available? You be a barrier for him so he doesn't take the Like, is it a combat league again or is it going to be just ranked? Yep. Like, I wonder what it's going to be. Oh, here we go. I wonder, is that a low uh, fatal blow? Dang. So I wonder, is that a low? You see how the fire came up when the fa uh, fatal blow happened? Okay. So he infects you with Tarkata? Or yeah, that's what he's been experimenting on. I thought so. I was like, I'm pretty sure all the infections that are happening in the story is happening by Shang Tsung. Melina, all of them is Shane Baraka. A lot of it's because of Shane Soon. Some kind of a schemer. He's he's kind of evil. Kind of a schemer. He always has been. Evil. Had a feeling. I had. A, I said that long time ago when they first showed Baraka when he was saying he, about talking about the infection. I'm like, it's probably Shane Soon. I'd like to show off. Okay. So as I've explained, he has the ability to copy moves from the opponent. Mm -hmm. If you use Shijinko against Shane Soon, the first move he can steal. This is the classic fireball. What you would expect. Which you'd kind of expect. But his level two move, he steals the ability to morph. And he will morph into Shang Tsung's cameo. Oh, wow. And then I have access to cameo Kung Lao's moves. That's, <laughs> that's, that's cool. That's a lot to take in right there. It's very neat. That's a lot to take in. And that even includes the cameo throw. So I morph into Kung Lao. So you get two chance, two times you can use a. I like that. You get one whole bar of using your uh, your opponent's cameo. There was cameo. a lot of morphing going on right here. Yeah. Wow, that was great. Very impressed. Very impressed. Shang Tsung's up there with the get with the uniqueness of uh of being unique, just like Garrus. Enjoy this a lot. Yeah, I think it's it's such a cool way to do Shujinko too. You know, from the Conquest Moon Deception, yeah. how you learn all those moves. It's mm. it's so neat. Really cool. Um, that's a lot. That's a lot. Not a lot left today, but we do have a fight that QA put together. That's uh, what I want to see. Be, might be a crown jewel. 
It's pretty great. And they use Melina. So yeah, oh, nice. Melina uh, versus uh, Shinsa. <laughs> There we go. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. You thought you were just going to skip over that bud? Not, to. Not today. Fair. All right. So we've got birthday shout outs. By the way, I did them when you were gone in Germany. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Probably it's not as good. I don't think it was good. I mean, no. did you have your thing that loud? No, that was not. I, See? Nope. Not as loud. I literally turned no. it down. Oh. Yes. Anyway, here we go. I know I'm going to mess up somebody's name, but what else is new? All right, happy birthday, Eric Kyander, Jason Sun, Michael Bellapani, uh, Daria Deco, or yeah, here's the first one to mess up, uh, Code, there we go, uh, Steve Buran, happy birthday, Steve, you're the best, uh, Jake Hong, we'll go with, uh, Marty Schultz, uh, Josh Williams, Rob Perluzzo, okay, uh, Mike Turanimal, and Jim O'Leary, happy birthday! See, Excellent. that was a short that one. Was short. That was easy, short. easy. Um, we do have that fight to show. Um, Crown Jewel, like really, really, probably maybe my favorite fight that QA's put together. This, I mean, that, they've all been great. Uh, this one is just this one's super cool. And we're gonna show that. We're gonna show that right now. That after that, people have asked for it. We'll do one match. Oh, we're actually belt battling. One match, and I left the belt downstairs. Up. Oh. So there we go. All right. Uh, so let's uh, let's show that fight. Melina versus oh nice oh Goro with oh nice let's go here we go Shang Tsung with Goro that's Kiana. Melina's the first time seeing her in action in actual battle well now I'm kind of worried about this is gonna look I ain't gonna front I love Melina but I'm look at that wait wait oh whoa that was a lot that was a lot wait I gotta go back gotta go back man I was talking I saw the combo just kept going Big Daddy Goro Shang Tsung with Goro that's Cannon. And Melina with Darius. Well, now I'm kind of worried about this is going to look way better than what I'm going to do in this belt. Oh, my goodness, bro. Oh, wow. Okay, that 350. Oh, wow. Goodness gracious. All right, Melina, let's see what you got. That's way cooler. Damn it. <laughs> Wait. That was all 319? So Shang Tsung does all that get 358 with the cameo. Melina does. look way better than what I'm going to do in this belt. I think that's a I don't know. Shake songs still look better, but still, uh, wait. I mean, I no, that's way cool. That's a lot of damage, bro. Wow. Okay, but Lita packs a punch. With less work, she didn't use a cameo either that that uh, that time. Wow. I love how <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking of Sonic how she does it with the, with the spin. Get back. And she has two different kind of teleports. I love Melina, but I'm going for Shang Tsung this time. Energy effect when she uses her powers. Oh yeah, no, she's a lot of fun to play. Yeah. That is so cool though, with the, the assist with Darius. Dude, look at this with Shang Tsung. Oh, you can do, oh wow, okay. Oh, big jump over. Go on the morph. That's what I said. I'm going to have my mains. Don't get me wrong, but there's too many great characters in this game to not try them out. I love Striker using his taser. I love that, that, that even throw breaks have their own animation for each character, which is super cool. Did y'all notice that Melina has, like, there's Baraka there. blades coming out of her arms? I think that was that last trip. Oh, no. Look at this. Look, 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 look at Shane Song, bro. Time that stuff perfectly. Oh man, you can do a lot. But Melina does a lot of damage, bro. Nine hits. Oh wow, here we go. This will be the end of this round. Goro. Oh, that must hurt. I'm pretty confident. Pretty confident she's not gonna get back up. There you go. Well, she already has. That is kind of a spoil though to show like who's the one that's you know. I feel bad. Uh whatever he drunk. But uh Kind of a little bit of a spoiler to show how Baraka and other people are getting po uh, poisoned to turn into, you know. But hey, I'm pretty sure most of us had figured that it was Shang Tsung. Or Quan Chi, one of them, but more likely Shang Tsung. That was uh, one of my favorite additions from KX. One thing I love about Melina is that she does, what was it, nine hits for 318? Shang Tsung had to do like 14. That was with a cameo to get 358. Love 
big punish. Was that a mid or an oh, overhead, gosh. I wonder, that Shang Tsung did to start the combo? Now Melina has Fatal Blow. She has not used Dang. it. Dang! Oh, man. Wow. Ooh. Oh, she added. That's overkill. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like it, though. Dang. All right, what's her fatal blow? I mean, oh, no. fatality. I don't think this is going to go well for Shang. Oh, my goodness. Excellent fight. That, that was yeah. a lot going on there. Um, they really thought of that one. Oh man, bro! That had to be one of the most. Yeah, that has to be one of the most brutal fatalities I've ever seen. Uh, in this game. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. People are logging off right now. I didn't think she was gonna do that. Like she <laughs> bit his head and then she's pulled up. You see the brain come up. Oh man, bro! Dang, Melina. Uh, Sonia. Okay, I'll be playing General Shao and Matara. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Okay, so you just went full on bigs. Full on bigs. All right. All right, all right, all right. Uh, wow. That fatality, bro. Goodness gracious. All right, here we go. Oh, yes. Another one. Match. One match. One match. One match. One match. Here's the build up here. Yeah. No, no pressure. Round one. Oh, shit. Oh. oh, just random roll to start the fight. What else would Vintage I do? Vintage Derek, yeah. Oh, my God. Dang. Wow. General Shao, bro. Goodness gracious. <laughs> 360. That was a good start. I love that you just did the roll again. That's yeah. Cool. Classic Molina wake up roll. Oh, get down to. So far, this is exactly what you want. Oh, wow. That's new. I've never seen that one. Oh, what's that? What's that, like a damage boost it gives him? Very good. Man, she can definitely confuse you. Up. Oh, oh, never mind. All right, so General oh, Shao. No. Oh, dang. General Shao's uh, oh, overhead man. for his fatal blow. He's definitely going to cover range for down twos. Let's see if Ty can get out of the corner. Yep. Oh. Nope, messed up, though. Messed up the combo. Now he's still stuck in the corner. Yeah, he does oh. give space to that because of his axe. Yeah, right there. You see that? That was the Baraka, like the Baraka blaze. They give Melina a little bit more of an upgrade, more than just her uh, regular blades. Derek is what I would call unconditional. Yep. Yeah. It's a, not a terrible trait to have in a fighting game. There's a lot of people that won tournaments doing that. Oh, oh wow. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. I'll take that. That was nice. I'm going to try to do it again. Don't worry. I know. Energy rings. I guess that answered my question. I always wondered did her rolls go full screen, but it didn't. It stopped. Oh, come on. All right. How did you I know that was going to happen? Out. Oh, jeez. I'm in the lands down yeah. blender. Ha! I love them both, but if I had to choose one to learn right now, it's definitely oh. Shell, General Shao. Oh, big whip there. No! Got the pressure going. Oh, wow. Look how he caught her all in the air. I knew that was happening. Yeah. I think you went to that well like 10 too many times. Got a fatal blow. Uh oh. Yep. You got to use it. Nope. Even though I don't think it's going to work. Yeah. I love that about this game. You can interrupt their fatal blow. Oh, come on. Dang you, Land. I like what you did there. Dang. General Shao's a beast. Well, all of them are good. Yeah, I think after maybe the, the seventh. Time you might have wanted to stop. Nah, and it no just felt right. It felt right. Let's felt let's right. be totally fair. You've had a little less time to play matches. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. That was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I wish they talked a little bit more of what online modes like hit. Like they're gonna have. It's been yes. a, for joining us. Yeah, it's been a great time doing these. Um, games coming out. If you, you haven't pre-ordered, pre-order. Yep, you cannot soon. wait to see everybody play. If you yep. want this sweet Shang Tsung, mm -hmm. yep, you'll see me playing it. So excited uh, from all of us. Thank you so much for joining us on the Combat Cast. We'll see you next time. All right. Very impressed. Reiko looks a lot better than the trailer showed. Like I said, even though the trailer showed a little bit, 
But uh, yeah, Shang Tsung, he was the highlight of this combat cast. And that's just my opinion. What you can do with them is very impressive. But one thing I caught was Melina does a lot of damage with no cameos. What was it? 318 for eight hits? And I, I, if my memory serves me correct, I got to look back at it. I don't think she uh, used any meter to get that. I have to look at it again. But yeah, anyway, thank y'all so much for tuning in. I'll post these as fast as I can uh, for y'all. But anyway, see you soon.